What's a thing you believed as a kid that you now realize is completely false? All grown-ups act in a mature, healthy way and have children's best interests to heart. The amount of times my mum told me grown-ups don't scream and throw fits. Grown-ups use their big words, not our hands. Grown-ups take accountability for their actions, no. Mum. Grown-ups TF do not. I suffered for over 10 years both socially and professionally. Before I finally realised we're all stuck in high school. Up until the time I was like 13 I genuinely thought that adults didn't have feelings. I think it's just cause any time I was happy or sad about anything. People always told me it was just hormones and I would grow out of it. I was always so upset about getting older because I didn't want to lose my emotions no matter how good or bad they were. Getting molested isn't a rite of passage, and it didn't happen to everyone. I was not special because I learned about sex earlier than others. It should never have happened. It wasn't until we had sex ed class a few years later that I realized what had happened was completely fucked. Goofy sex myths. Apparently having sex with a couple of people doesn't make you a loose slut and worn. Now you love MILFs. Somehow your brain didn't put it together yet how much that MILF gets pounded and you hope you become one of them even if a baby's head fit through there. My parents made me and my brother believe that paying for car washing was stupid expensive as kids, so that we would help them wash their cars. I think we wasted more in the time and effort spent washing the cars ourselves than we would have taken them to an actual car wash. By saying that Bill told Hillary he was going to go to the pool, but when he came back she found a fish in his swim trunks, which meant he went to the beach and this lie was why he was getting impeached. The purpose of lawmaking and policing is to make society more just. I now know it's actually there to unfairly enrich people who already have too much and protect them from the consequences of their greed. When I would hear the term prog rock as in progressive rock, like Rush and Genesis and the like, I just assumed it was rock from prog, as in the Czech city. I was 30 to when it dawned on me, not as a kid, that my wife's friends in college had her believe that every guy that peed in a urinal would pull their pants down to their ankles, had her believing this fears. My mum used to tell me it says in the Bible, I can hit you. I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't think it's humanely possible for me to believe in religions after that. That why could only have her elbows on the table if you were married. I remember when my parents got divorced, I would always tell them to get their elbows off the table or people are inherently good. Yeah, no, no. They are not. If given a chance without negative repercussions laws, they are not good to our society standards. That adults knew what they were doing. We're all just trying to make ends meet, navigating this strange world to the best of our abilities. I was convinced that if I swallowed a watermelon seed, a watermelon would grow in my stomach. Thankfully, I never put that theory to the test. If you drop a raisin on the kitchen floor and leave it there, time people stepping on it will make it physically become part of the floor. I don't need to brush my teeth, extra OB. Not true. Had to pay big time for that when I was 12 and have cared for my teeth since then. If you work hard, study in school and get good grades, you'll get a decent paying job and be able to have a somewhat stable lifestyle. My dad told me it was illegal to turn the interior over headlights on in the car while you're somebody else is driving law. I thought the vast majority of people were smart and are honest enough to reject the big lie and BS conspiracy theories that at some point it would be like a switch was thrown and I'd know what I was doing and how to be a proper person. Don't become a Barbie because ain't all people like a stick figure bish be a Barbie from Wishwood. Tem handles. Cars don't start if your seatbelt isn't buckled. I then told the same lie to my children. It works a treat law that you can't make a baby by your parents kissing at their wedding. When the priest says you may kiss the bride. Oh. Some interesting comments. What surprised me? No one discussed do carrots help you see in the dark. That working really hard is going to be what makes you successful. Maybe two years ago. But not anymore. That when a chicken lays an egg it's soft when it comes out then hardens when it makes contact with. Air. Religion. That one hurt. I love my church brothers but they are lying to me. And smile while doing it. That college and a job is the way to success. I never went to college and I couldn't be happier. I used to think adults knew everything. Now I realize they just Google things faster than I do. I didn't realize I was being neglected. I didn't know anything else. 
I've never had friends. Religion, especially after I was expelled from Sunday school for asking too many questions. I used to think that I had powers, that at 15 in they would start showing up. Still waiting. That keeping the light on, in the car, would get my parents a ticket. It's perfectly legal. That you should always stay connected with family no matter what happens. So untrue. There's a special dye in the pool that will turn the water purple if you pee in it. That I could walk into a black hole at any given moment and disappear. If you got a blow job, don't let them blow. Cause you will get air inside and die. Everyone's destined to find love. Now I know that only applies to a few people. That Stephen Blue's Clues is a drug addict and that's why he leaves the show. If you eat a watermelon seed, then a watermelon will grow inside of you. Cursive writing isn't required. Write legibly and no one gives a damn. The city of Atlantis isn't under my elementary school playground. That it's good to watch the news. That shit pums me out so much. If you work hard, you'll get everything you need and then some. That being nice to someone meant they would be nice to me. That when I was an adult, I'd have all the time in the world. That if you poured salt on a bird's tail, you could catch it. You're not allowed to have the ceiling light on in your car. There's no tooth fairy. Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny. A giant segment of the adult population are not idiots. My parents are good people who want to have children. The red lights on radio towers are stars in trouble. That you could punch someone's nose into their brain. I believe that the government is there to help you. Being nice to girls is how to get a girlfriend wife. The words and they all lived happily ever after.